In the beginning of our news tonight, President Muhammad Buhari says Nigeria has made strides in the fight against Boko Haram insurgency. The effort, he says, is to ensure security as well as socio-economic prosperity for the people of Nigeria and the sub-region. President Buhari said this during a courtesy call on President Mahama in Accra today. President Muhammadu Buhari touched down at the Kutuka International Airport Monday morning. He was welcomed by President Mahama with a strong support from members of the ACP in Ghana. The two presidents proceeded to the Pedriasi Lodge in the eastern region where they had over one hour closed door bilateral discussions. President Mahama, in briefing the media after their meeting, said the two countries had agreed to continue to lead the integration effort in the sub region. Our two ministries of foreign affairs will begin the process of reviving the joint Ghana Nigeria Commission for Cooperation and progressively expand its focus to the level of a binational commission. Nigeria has taken the lead with the implementation of the ECOWAS Common External Tariff, which is a very commendable and exemplary step. I look forward to Ghana's parliamentary approval so that we can also begin implementation soon. President Mahama also commended President Buhari for his quick deployment of military power to fight the Boko Haram insurgency. The Nigerian president said lots of efforts had been made in fighting the insurgency. If you have been to uh, Northeast, uh, the military is really gaining ground. And uh, Boko Haram is virtually limited now to Sandisa Forest. Internally displaced persons uh, gradually moving back to their constituencies and they are being integrated uh, into their uh, respective communities. He spoke about forming a cabinet this month. The issue of asset declaration also came up. Right now, all the living uh, Nigerian elite in terms of uh, head of state or president, uh, governors, permanent secretaries, ministers, you know, have to declare their assets as in the constitution. The constitutional amendment we are moving is for the assets declaration to be made available to the media to make it more transparent. Other issues discussed had to do with the common partnership agreement, Africa's position on climate change, and how the two countries can work to ensure enough power supply, as well as the upcoming ECOWAS 40th anniversary. President Buhari has since left for home.